Hey everybody, welcome back for Aether Raids. It is now light and dark season. Um, it's day two of the season. I didn't record yesterday. I had just gotten my second dose of the COVID vaccine. I got Moderna and I was super out of it. And so I didn't think I was in the right state of mind to record or uh, play super competitively. I did play a match and I ended up winning it and not losing any units, but it was a very, it was a very close match, I'll say, and it took me way longer than it normally would take me to do a match. So I'm back today feeling way better, feeling refreshed, um, and I'm excited to jump into the season, and we have a bunch of defense results to watch, uh, one of which actually just came in, looks like eight minutes ago, that I haven't seen yet, and it was a failure, but we got three foes defeated, which is pretty cool. So we'll take a look at the defense replays after we jump in for today's match. So... I checked all the teams already, they all look good, and we're just going to jump in. Okay, so it's a it's a young Innis. Um, he's already plus nine, so I'm sure someone was excited that he just got added to the girl shop. He's running the Sturdy Impact, Low Speed Defense, Oath Skill, Sturdy Blow. Okay, so this is a unit that I don't really want to initiate into me. Although I wonder if my Zane could take this. Because um, Zane is run running Null Follow-Up. Although I don't know if I'd outspeed. I think they're probably pretty close in speed since he is speed stacking with the lull and the steady blow. And then rally attack defense plus, which is interesting. So this is probably a unit that they're going to use for arena once they get the last merge. Oh my gosh, they're running the double knot. I was able to pull... Actually, I haven't even sparked yet, but within, I think, 32 summons, I was able to get two copies of knot, which really surprised me. So I'm thinking about sparking the Pala. Uh, so I can give uh, our duel, our duel flying four to my Sheeta since she already has our duel flying three. Um, but okay, this is a bit scary because I just haven't encountered a team like this before. These aren't calves, at least. If they were cav calves, then they'd be a lot scarier. So we have the Annette with the rally, um, giving more movement. Interesting that this one is running threat defense for us too. Also interesting that it it goes over the um, like the the box like the that goes beyond the border of the skill box i don't really know what to call it i haven't seen that before triandra no special no seal okay uh the ennis which we've seen dorothea with the speed bane which is unfortunate oh it's infantry pulse is this a pulse team it's not it's just the one i guess mayor gets his special though which is a bit scary Okay, um, I guess this is like technically a rally trap, right? Because, well, they don't really have, well, yeah, I guess Innis could rally or Annette could rally. If Annette rallies either of these, they get more range. So we'll have to be mindful of that. Lots over here on the right side. Um, they should be pretty easy to get toward the end of the match, actually. It's actually pretty cool to see the, the hair of the birds kind of flopping together. What are they called? Her Hermfaxi or something? Um, okay, let's actually think about who we're going to bring to this match, though. Um, this one's really fast, running life and death. So, it's a bit scary. Uh, I don't think Ike is scared of this team, though. And I haven't really used Ike much at all in recent, recent months, I want to say, just because I feel like everyone has a dedicated counter. Um... But I don't think this team really can do much to shrug off Ike. So that might actually be the play. Because I know Ike will do well against Not. Maybe if I have Ike... Um, I'll have to be aware of this Bolt Tower too. Maybe have, if I have Ike like up here or so. There's no Lunge or anything. There is Wind Sweep. Which I'll have to be careful about. Merrick does reach. I think they all have the same range. Except for Annette. All these range units have the same range. I've seen this like set up for cabs. I haven't seen it for, for um, infantry before. We have the healing tower, panic manor. Only level 3. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit scary. I'm mostly scared of the Merrick, just because he can reach everywhere, and I don't think Ike does it well against him, because I'm pretty sure the Merrick will outspeed, right? 
winds of change so if there's a bonus gets attack speed plus five and neutralizes effects that guarantee foes follow up attack so and we'll follow up an attack speed plus five okay so five plus seven so that's 12 16 speed so he's hitting 65 roughly uh does he get rallied yeah they can't reach um hmm <laughs> They're not running Bright or Dark Shrine. They do have the Flyer School. I'm wondering if this is a map for Zane. Because Wind Sweep doesn't affect Zane. I don't know how Zane does against the Knots. They are pretty fast. Although, the good thing is that if Zane eats the Attack Speed Menace. We're actually fine with that because his stats are coming from other units anyway. I feel like it always ends up being Zane. I don't know if this is one he can actually comfortably handle though. It's pretty scary. So I've got some pretty strong ranged firepower between the Innis and the Merrick covering both physical and magical damage. But it, let's see, if I wanted to put Innis here, let's say... Um, I could get the isolation on somebody. Maybe the Dorothea, so we could get her to attack in, because I'm pretty sure she she dies. She attacks into Zane. Um, we might even want to bait from here, just because if we did bait from here, then we would get healing on the following turn. But I'm a bit scared about. Like, let's say not gets Dance from here. Or maybe I want to isolate the Annette so that there's no Rally that goes off, so that nobody gets extra movement. Aside from the Pathfinder, which grants extra movement. Yeah, this is a scary one. I know that Joshua can't handle not. At least not the Life and Death one. I don't think. I think she gets too fast. Although this knot's not running the um, the attack speed menace. So if I put Joshua like here, for example, he wouldn't get debuffed. He might actually be fine then. And then let's see, Zane would go here. I'd probably put um, Mila over in this spot so he gets a defense boost. Maybe Dagger goes here. Peony to give buffs. I think this is our best move, just considering the wind sweep. Oh, we also have Fallen Ike, who I also haven't used in forever. Um, no, but Fallen Ike does not do well against Knots. Notes, I'm sorry. Mispronouncing your name. Note. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be the Zane team. I mean, there's also Hector, but I don't want Hector to go up against Merrick. Clyde's a bit iffy here. I mean, there's no Fatal Smoke, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we get fast enough. Let's just go with Zane. I think that's the best bet. This might be a wash. We'll see. I think we want... Let's see Zane there. I think we are going to go for the isolation on the Annette so that they don't get the rally off. Um, just so there isn't any additional movement shenanigans. And... Yeah, I want Joshua to be getting the Fortify Res. So I think we'll put him next to Peony. Let's see, Zane goes up. Um, Zane goes up. Um, let's see. Let me actually pause to think about this and just get all of the placements down right. Okay, so I've thought this one through for 
a few minutes and I think if we're gonna want to bait on turn one which I think I want to do just to make sure I have the most turns possible to you know get the pots and then wrap the enemy I think what we're gonna want to do is have dagger here so like Mila this. comes down um, she's able to get the isolation off and then Zane moves up here Josh moves over to the left if you say so. I think I move air here and dance or actually, that might not work. What I want is to be able to dance with Peony so she's in Good this morning. row. So that she's providing the drives to Zane when he's baiting from here. I guess I could leave air where she is and dance Peony, dance with Peony from above. That way everybody gets the buffs. Hmm. Well, if everyone gets the buffs, including the movement buffs, then I don't need dagger here necessarily. Um, in order to get Mila down. Well, let's see. Zane goes here. Josh moves to the left. Mila comes down here. Uh, Peony ends here by dancing air, and then I think dagger just moves over to Peony's position. I think that's what we do. I've decided I want to be from the left side just because there's more room for my units to sort of be out of range on the right side. So what I kind of want to do is bait them to the left so that after they get danced, they're not able to sort of move over this way. Um, yeah, okay. I I don't know. I've, I'm pretty scared of this whole double note thing, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. But we're going to go ahead and just proceed with that plan and we'll see if it doesn't work. We haven't used any ladders yet. Um, yeah, it'll be a learning opportunity. Okay, so I'm gonna end turn with air. Dance with Peony so everybody gets buffed. Mila comes down. Zane goes here. Joshua goes left. And then Dagger comes over here. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's what we do. I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, yep, we will see. Should I break this or not? What are you running? Aerobatics? Um... I feel like there's a world in which... Sure, Andre somehow ends up in this position. Having this broken might help. Decided. Probably not, but I'm gonna break it because I don't think there's any reason not to. And air will stay where she is. All right, let's see it. I think Merrick's gonna go first. Maybe Innis. Oh, the dance happens. That means no one was able to kill. Okay, so Innis does double. Ooh, how much is this gonna do? Ooh, this is gonna be a big hit. Oof, okay, yeah. So Merrick's gonna take him out. Oh, I guess Ennis gets danced. Okay. The night's still young. Merrick comes down. Yep. Well, at this point, there's not a whole lot I think I... Well, actually, could I win this still? Because so. Dagger gets, gets the kill on Merrick. Yeah, I... Underestimated the Sinus. I knew he'd be fast and strong, but that was <laughs> more than I was expecting, which is pretty cool. It's cool to see how good he is once he gets those merges. I mean, he was even good before with just the plus one, but he's going to be... Um, if we keep seeing him on defense, he's actually going to be a menace. But even on Arena, I think um, it's good that he's available now to counter, you know, like, all in Edelgard and whatnot. All right, but let's see. If we wanted to play this one through... I think we get the kill with Dagger, uh, dance with Peony, we can repo Peony out of the way, Dagger gets the kill on, uh, I guess we could get the kill on Chirandra, and then she gets Gelforce off, and we could kill the Ennis as well, or we could get the kill on Ennis and move back, I think Dagger actually counters, I know Dagger counters notes really well, um, 
Not too sure how she does against a net. Probably not terribly. But I do think I'd want to get the Tron drop board. Just because there's no uh, disencounter on Dagger. Let's just see. Let's just see how this one could go. I don't know that I'll take this. Um, since we do have all of our ladders still. But I kind of want to just see what I could even do here if I wanted to finish this out. So I think the first thing would for sure be to take out the Merrick. And then dance. Let's see. I could, um, or actually, how much speed am I getting? Plus one, he's getting plus one. Are we tying for speed? So I actually don't get the, oh wait, I do get the kill force. What am I saying? I don't get the flashing blade, but I only need one charge. Right, because he's not writing any guard. Because what yeah. we could do is take out the the Ennis and then move over here and take out the Triandra. And it's turn two, so this doesn't go off yet. And then I think we could even leave Peony there. Uh, I'm most scared about the Annette. I think she will actually hit pretty hard. What else could we do? Um, hmm. <laughs> If you say so, it will be done. Decided. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else we could do. We have to take these two out. It's just the order in which we do it. Well, if we if we take out the Innis first and then take out the Triandra, we can leave Pini where she is, which is giving more buffs to Dagger. Whereas if we take out if you say so. the Triandra first and then Gale Force over and take out the Dagger. I'm sorry, take out the Ennis with Dagger, then we'd have to get Peony out of the way. Because otherwise this is open and someone could get danced and go in and sniper. Let's take out the Ennis. And then take out the Triandra. You know, the cool thing actually is the attack speed menace actually will buff dagger um like this lucky me oh i just realized they are isolated which is kind of cool um so i'm pretty sure what happens is a net will attack in i think she'll do the most damage i think that'll actually hurt i'm a bit worried about that but the good thing is or i'm sorry actually dorothy will attack first because i don't have distant counter which will actually then buff my defenses after I get the dagger 7 effect. And then I think Annette comes down and attacks. And... Yeah, I don't know where she'll attack from. The notes might attack in. Um, you know what, let's move Joshua here because he has the joint drive attack. And... I think we can get rid of this. And Mila just kind of has to stay where she is. I don't know how this will go, but we'll see. Okay, that's more damage than I was hoping for. So yeah, I think she goes down to a net here. Or to the note, actually. Wow, but I would have definitely killed. Okay, well at this point we're definitely not going to finish out the match, but it was cool just to see how I would even, you know, consider going about it. At this point I have no answer to the notes. I uh, Dagger was really my only answer, so... Let's just see if I could even take one of them out. Ready. Death's caress. Decided. The glimmer of life. Yep, they're too strong. Okay, well, cool team. Uh, cool to see the use of infantry as basically calves because they get the extra moon, which is pretty cool. But I'm so scared to see this, this double note with, um, with calves. I have yet to see that sort of team, but basically having like range of the entire board is is going to be ridiculous to fight against so you know good defense set up there what's your name again geberit um super cool in to send you a friend request it'd be cool in to have on my team as well and let's go ahead and try another one it is good to know that my Zane is sort of falling off in terms of speed. Well, it's not the Zane, I guess it's more so like 
my own my other units um yeah i'm wondering if i should consider a different seal um yeah i don't know we're gonna keep him how he is for now but yeah maybe that just wasn't the match for him i don't know though because i wanted to bring ike but against the wind sweep it just he wouldn't have done anything so mm -hmm. yeah i'll have to think through and see if there is um a different unit that I can bring for range tanking. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump back in. Let me actually just double check. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump back in and see if we can win this next match. So we have a Hell. She's not running a an assist or an S. They have a Ferdinand. Ooh, this is a cool Ferdinand. Max invested with the attack boon, Lofty Blossoms. So this spare effect with Spicer 3, so it gets very fast. Guard, Heavy Blade. That's a cool set. Brammy, uh, base kit with repo, no seal. Triandra, uh, unfortunate pain, but good asset, good boon. Mirror Strike, which is interesting. Running base kit otherwise with Moonbow. Um, Azura, is it water season? I don't think that it is, but I could be wrong. Um, Iowa Shield, Attack Tactic, Guidance, and then an Astrum with bonus doubler. Okay, so definitely sort of meant to benefit from Azura. Um, okay, so no note. One fountain's there, one's on the left side. Um, level four bright and dark shrines. Catapult's not hitting anything. Fire school's there. Traps are all around. Level four tactics room, okay. Um, Let's think. Mm, there's the... I don't know how they do against Brave Hector. Do I really want to just do a plonk? Where would I plonk from here? This Ferdinand actually gets pretty fast. Like 45 um, with no buffs. Rouse is not going to come to play, at least. But he gets pretty fast. 45 plus 4... Plus seven, so he hits what fifty six speed. There's also Ike. I don't know how well he does against this Astrum. Probably fine, um, but I don't think I'll be doing much damage. Yeah, I don't really have anyone to kill Astro on that team. Okay, how fast can I get Zane to be? I think he gets his speed from Dagger being the fastest on my team. So 50 speed plus 3 from the Dance plus another 3 from the Drive. 53, 56. The support is so like what, 57 speed? And I said that this Ferdinand hits 56, so yeah, they'll be... Oh, 50... But I also have the Kestrel stance on Zane, so maybe I can outspeed the Ferdinand. Because I think Zane would be the best to handle the Astrum, the Hell, and probably the Brammy as well. Who am I leaving for last year? That's the question. Maybe the Azura? I have her attack into um, like Mila, maybe. Blazing Wind. Didn't notice that before. <laughs> okay, well, let's bring. Oh, I'm actually realizing that I'll have to. Well, I can't get rid of this Bright Train, so I'm actually not going to be getting the max speed from Dagger. 
But I will be getting 49 speed from Joshua, which is only one point less. Let's go ahead and try this team. I know that I can't get doubled by Ferdinand, at least. I don't know if I'll double him. If I double him, I'm pretty sure I'll kill. And no. Oh, they're running guard. I actually kind of forgot about that. So I won't be charging noontime on him. But I think that's okay. I think if we put Joshua here... Actually, let's, let's think about who we want to isolate. Probably the Azura. Yeah, I think the Azura. I think what we do is we put Dagger here. Zane moves to this spot. Joshua moves... Um, yeah, where do we want Josh, actually? Hmm. Well, if we bait from here, then... Joshua might just have to go directly behind, which is fine. So Joshua here... Or actually, we don't really need the dagger close by, I'm remembering, because she's not going to be giving any buffs to Zane anyway. Who we really want close by is the Milla to be giving defensive buffs. We will be soaking this, but she still gives a lot of defense. 51 defense. Okay, so let's think. We could bring Joshua here. Bring Joshua up here, dance from below with Peony. Joshua moves uh, maybe over to this spot, and then Milla can... Actually, do we want Milla? We don't want Milla directly below. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause to think through this placement and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think what we do here is we move Zane up, we dance with Peony, Zane moves up again, Mila comes to this spot, Joshua comes over here and swaps with Mila, so Zane's getting buffs from both of them. And I think we can use air and start to take out, we'll take out this structure here, um, just in case it makes it easier to get that pot later on. And then Dagger will pro probably just move over to where Joshua currently is. Yeah, I think that's our best, our best option. So let's go ahead and run the play. Dance from here, Zane moves up, Mela moves here. Joshua swaps in. Yes. Let's go ahead and break that. And we will bring Dagger over to this spot here. And let's see how this goes. Ferdinand has to go first. Okay, so we do double, thankfully. And we're able to take him out without too much trouble. Not charging the noontime, unfortunately. But I think Hell will die here. Yep, okay, that's good. And then Astra moves down. There's no dance. Okay, what I have to be careful about here is just not killing everybody before I have a chance to get the pots. Um, okay, we're not isolating anybody this turn. I think what we're going to have to try and do is leave the Azura for last if there's a way we can make that happen. I'm wondering about having Josh move over this way. I wonder if I can bait the Triandra. I don't know if that will work, actually. Okay, I do know that we need to back off. Just because if we were to leave Zane here, then there's a good chance that everybody would end up dying. Well, maybe the Brammy wouldn't. If Brammy attacks in and it gets danced, then the Azura would be left. Because I don't know that I can one round the Brammy. But I don't really want to take any chances. Death's caress. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if we break this. The only unit that could come down would be the Triandra. Maybe we move Zane down.
Lucky me. Boo. Heads or tails. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't want everybody to die. Decided this way. I smell sweets. <laughs> okay. Let's think this through. I mean, the other option would be to like really back off, like move Zane like two spaces down. But then if we're not blocking off, I would just, I don't want anybody to get dance and have like crazy range. Hmm. This is tricky because of the pots. I'm pretty sure we could win this easily, but don't want everyone to die. I wonder if we could actually use Triandra, like bait her into Dagger. Maybe if we put Dagger over here. And then actually, if Triandra's in this spot, we could actually probably drop her there. That might be the best play. And Dagger is super fast at this point because she's uh, turning her penalties into bonuses. So I don't have to worry about Trendrot speeding. I don't have to worry about Trendrot getting danced. And from this position, no one else would be able to reach. Maybe that's the move. And then we could actually just use Zane to bait the other units. And if they do end up dying, that's fine. Grammy might not. But at least then I have an option of who I want to leave on the board. Maybe between the dancers. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Because how much damage could she really be doing? She's getting debuffed by the Flyer Skull, which is good. She does have a lot of attacks, so I've got to be a little bit careful. So she's hitting 55 plus um, 7 plus 4. So plus 11, so 60... Did I say 50? Yeah, 55 plus 11, so 66. 66. Let me get out a calculator really quick. Before my um, dagger gets one shot, it's a 66. If you say so. Minus 28. Oh, is that an exact lethal? I bestow my blessing. Got him. <laughs> Uh, I guess we could get the... Wait, where is that debuff coming from again? Oh, it's coming from Frightful Dream, so that won't be active. Oh wait, that actually buffs her, technically. Well then, she's actually more at 31 res. I think she's fine. What I could also do is move the Mela over so that she's... Mela has, what, seven uh, columns? Seven columns, so three. Oops. So if I moved her here... For example, then I could give more rest to Dagger. I think we're going to do that. Um, I think we're going to do that and try to trap the Triandra. Oh man, if I can get this to work, that'd be pretty cool. I just got to find a way to get her in on the following turn. So what would I do? I can move someone here, maybe have Milo then smite. I move Mill down this way. Mill can move over here and smite somebody from this position up. If you say so. Yeah, I think that's our base plate. We're gonna go ahead and put her there. We don't know any other way to guarantee that we don't um, kill everybody or, or leave a too big of a gap where after a dance somebody could sneak in and kill one of like my this. mythics. Um. I think we can leave Zane where he is, actually. Or maybe move him down. Hmm. Although if we leave him where he is, then... We continue to block or like seal this this off. I don't really want to move him down. I don't really want to leave this open. I'm just worried about someone not dying, getting tense, and then coming in and killing like air or the Nilla. Decided. 
Okay, so... What if... I bestow my blessing. I think we want Mila to be over here. Like this. Lucky me. Oh, did um did Josh read the dark shrine? I bestow my blessing. 5643. It will be done. Decided. Oh, it might have been him. Okay, well, next turn I have 94, plus this is a 99. So she she will soak it next turn. I think he soaked, I guess, because maybe she didn't have the Fortify Razzle her. I think that's what I overlooked. Um, oh gosh. That's pretty scary. With bonus doubler. Should I take him out, or at least attack into him, so that I can heal a little bit, and then he dies the following turn when he attacks into me? Or actually, is there a way I can outspeed? What am I hitting speed-wise right now? I'm hitting 21 plus 35, so 56. He's hitting 50, um, 54. Good morning. I could dance from here and then repo down. Yeah, maybe I do want to take out this Astrum. Okay, so I would attack from here, dance with Peony from here, kill, um, move Mila down to this position probably, and then use air and repo Peony back down. This way? Let's go ahead and do that. This is a trickier match than I um, expected at first. It's sort of unorthodox. Like I don't see Astrum all that often, um, and I wasn't expecting Azura. Ready. Okay. So if we were to dance from here, we could take out Astrum, move Mila down, and then repo Peony out of the way with air. Why am I not killing now? This way. Oh, wait, what? What, what did I just do? Did I use... I might have dragged the wrong unit. I'm very confused. Okay, so he does kill. Um, okay, let's let's go ahead and get Astrum off the board. And yeah, I think Miller comes down. I repo out of the way and what I could do here is swap so that everyone so like Brammy has to attack into Sane. let's do that I mean Joshua can take him oh she does get the exact kill how did that okay this is unfortunate hmm do I take this though I guess because my res um, buff wore off and she didn't have any debuffs. Okay, so Brammy does go down here. Azura's left on the board. Well, so much for trapping the Triandra. That's unfortunate that it was the exact lethal. Yeah, I guess I forgot about the... Fortify wearing off? I don't even know what I overlooked there. That was just a... Maybe I do have COVID brain still. Who knows? Um, okay, well, what we could do actually is trap with the peony. Maybe. Like if I moved um, Sane here, then I could dance. I could dance him with peony. And then we would just have to find a way to take out Azura. Azura's not that threatening. 
If I do trap the peony though, then it is pretty clutch that I would be able to take the pots pretty freely. This way? Heads or tails. I smell sweets. Boo. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Uh, we could check if this trap is real. Lucky me. Boo. Hmm. We could check if this trap is real. Well, there's there's two ways it could go about this. It could either step on this trap, and then Peony comes into block, Triandra in, dances the Zane. Zane would move over. Or I guess I could have him move down and he can, I'm pretty sure, take out the Azura. Decided. Lucky me. Like if I break this, then he could um, probably take her out from below, I think. Because he's already, if he doubles, he's doing enough damage already, but he would be getting... Lucky me. Let's see, he'd be at... At least 49 speed. Yeah, so I think what we do is we break this with Joshua, move Zane here, Peony dances him, Zane moves down and kills Azura from this position. And then I think we're just free to get the pots. My right? I smell sweets. I'm nervous that I am this gonna way. screw this up somehow. But I don't see how I could. Zane moves here, Peony dances him, Joshua breaks the structure, Zane moves down, kills the Azura. Heads or tails. If I move Joshua first, then when I dance his name with Peony, then he'll get buffs, which is even better. Okay, so we break that. Oh, we one shot, which is good. This way? Yeah, so we move here. Peony body blocks. Okay, that's the real trap. Peony goes here. We kill the Azura. And now we're just free to get the pots. I am a bit sad that there is the exact lethal. But I think considering we can get both pots. Also, I'm not sure how hard this season's going to be now that note is a factor. So I'm kind of feeling like I should just take this, honestly. Ready. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end up taking this. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to use another ladder. This season could end up being really hard with no, as we saw that with that last match. That was uh, an unfortunate loss. I'm still sad that we got <laughs> that this Triantra got the exact lethal. If she didn't have the attack boon, or if anything were different, if she weren't running mirror strike then she would have lived but oh well that's how it goes sometimes lost a few points but you know what we're gonna take the win i just realized i have the wrong accessory on joshua usually i run the clover it's like the good luck clovers that i was using him for um What's that mode where you have to use accessories to get points? I can't think of it right now. Okay, well, let's go ahead and watch our... You know, let's just watch the the last two. So, the ones from today. So, this one was a success. So, like I said, I did um, end up picking up... I'm very surprised, honestly, that I got two copies of Note before even hitting the spark. But I just got lucky, I suppose. So... I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to take her. Um, so it's the same team as before, except I've incorporated Note. Um, I've 
put her in a few different spots. I might completely change this defense team, but before Note's arrival, this team was doing really well. And so I don't really want to change it out. I was thinking about doing like a Cav team with Note, but yeah, for now I'm kind of just sticking her in so that we get that extra slot and I'm getting more bonuses on the other units, more HP and more defense. But she's honestly just in the corner, which isn't really adding a whole lot. Um, so we're going to think through this as the week progresses to see how this team does. If I continue to get successes or kills at least even if i get failures then i might keep it as it is but i haven't really thought through it a whole lot yet so we're facing this team they've got a speedy makai which is pretty cool running wind sweep death blow and attack speed solo they have the milla um, a max invested sophia is also speed a speedy build running a speedy build which is pretty cool peony with mirror stance which i think in this match actually mattered we'll take a look um and then the Tamari Air with five mergers. So let's go ahead and see how we ended up winning this. So we start breaking the structures on the left. They're probably trying to get rid of the shrines. Maybe start collecting the pots. Sophia gets that pot. And they're just staying out of range for now. Turn three, they get the bolt tower. Makai goes in and easily one-shots the leaf. And Peony gets smited over and Makai draws Peony out of the way. And he broke the bright shrine there and now it looks like they're just gonna let me approach. So um, yeah, the Trundred goes for the Peony here, but because of that mirror stance, I think she this would have been an exact lethal. It's too bad that I got killed by an exact lethal, but uh, my team is definitely exact lethal. At least this was still a success, though. And then Larishel comes down. Larishel gets taken out here by the Micaiah. Micaiah's a pretty good counter to my team. Except for the um, Catria. Gotta be careful with the Catria. Micaiah then takes out the Trandra here. Here gets smited up, and Sophia goes, I think, to try and bait the Olivia here. But um, after the rallies, they kind of just move about in the same corner. So this moves over. Here they move their Micaiah over. Still have Sophia sort of, I guess, there to bait, maybe? My units continue to kind of rally and shuffle around. And Makai gets smited up, and with the Iceberg, she's able to one-shot the Sothis. So again, Sothis really not doing a whole lot, just kind of being there to give HP and res. Um, and I'm not sure why they went for this. Maybe because they're short on turns, but they had hit the Catcher for 46. Not enough to kill. But I think they may have overlooked the the air orders that note would get because on this next turn note comes down and is able to to pretty easily dispatch the sophia Into the darkness. so note's doing something which is pretty cool and then catcher moves up uh gets dance and moves right back down so here yeah. Air takes out the Catria. I don't know why they body blocked with Mila. I don't know if they thought that she would be able to survive Note. Um, but Note has the Moonbow charged and is apparently offended by Mila and takes her out. And then Olivia comes down and it's the last turn. They had eight turns because of Mila, but it, it just wasn't enough. So they trigger the Bolt Trap, take out the Note. And actually, they could have won here. I think they chose not to. I'm sure they could have taken the Olivia out, no problem. But I guess they chose not to because, you know, they, they just lost um, too many units. So, Gleb, Vaganov, Vaganov, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to, what the correct pronunciation is there. But a uh, good attempt. You totally could have won that. But, you know, I'm glad that you decided to uh, prioritize your lift and not settle for that.
So again, this one just came in like at the start of when I was recording uh, today's video. So I haven't seen this one yet. Um, so we did fail, but we got three foes defeated. Oh, actually, I totally forgot. I, I just before this uh, switched my maps. Uh, just wanted to see if these like lava flows here would do anything. It's the same exact set, not the same exact, it's mostly the same setup, at least with my units. Some of the structures are in different places, but I did want to try the fortress um, defense over here so that Leaf isn't as snipeable. It is pretty hard to snipe him. I think really it's only like blue mages that can take him out. Um, okay, but let's look at the team. So Reinhardt, uh, or Swordheart, with the refine and the attack bone, which is pretty cool. I don't really see him a whole lot used on offense. Looks like they're still using their Edelgard uh, with Mystic Boost, Bonfire. Freya with no seal, no seal on the dagger either. They've got the peony running the attack tactic and uh, summoner supported Alphonse with the defense boon um, running special spiral distant defense. This is a pretty cool build. Seems like it'd be pretty hard to take out. And yeah, let's see. I wonder if the Edelgard was able to just sort of tank us. So they start going up the left side. They're leaving Reinhardt on the right side, which is interesting. Edelgard solo, so she can transform. Is she going to get smited in? or? Okay, Peony breaks that. Freya. Yeah, they're just breaking the structures on the left side. This was sort of what I wanted. Um, just to sort of waste their turns. Let's see how this goes. Yep, so they've pretty much broken all the structures at this point. Save the healing tower. And the flyer skull, which is just kind of there for like a roadblock. And now that there's no um, duo's hindrance, they do get the duo ability on Alphonse. They're able to snipe the Olivia. Is this a one shot? Probably. Oh, it's not. Dang, Olivia surviving that. Olivia is running Barrier Blade, and these defenses are crazy. So, <laughs> props to her for for living that. That's um, that's a feat. That is definitely a feat. So they're going to either have to dance him to take her out or leave her. But then she'll heal. They're probably going to dance her. Um, what did I want to say about this, Olivia? Oh, I'm excited for when it's Hell bonus week because if they're on Hell and Note, Olivia is going to be hitting 59 defense. I kind of want to give her more Dragonflower so she hits 60 when they run together because then I'm pretty sure um, Mila's will have a hard time isolating because I do run the chill defense always on somebody. So effectively, you'll need 67 defense to uh, Isaac Olivia. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what happened here. Yeah, so Peony dances. Alphonse, Alphonse is able to take out the Olivia. I wonder who's going to get taken out on their team. We don't know that we got three kills, so... Okay, they start to bait with Edelgar here. Don't know if that's the best play, because, yeah, I was going to say Leaf, I think, can take her out. He's quadding because of Katria. So even through the damage reduction, actually he reduces damage reduction too, so lives the bonfire, which is clutch, and that is GG Edelgard. I'm sure he could stance, probably take somebody else now. Or no, the Drandra goes in. Drandra is a scary unit. Um, <laughs> I think she's doubling here through his special, yeah, because of the brave effect. So not enough to kill, but still solid. Does no get taken out here? No, maybe this so oh no, they want to take the leaf out. That's fair, he's very threatening. Uh and they will heal back from this. Oh wait, he doesn't heal from that. I don't know what I was thinking. But he's very low on health, so don't know if he'll survive next turn. Swordheart takes out Lara Shell. And let's see, does Sothis do anything? Nope. <laughs> Trandra gets the glimmer off and takes out the Alphonse. And Katri comes down, and is this a... No, she probably goes down to the Moomba here. What about Sothis? Does Sothis take him out? No, I think she dies here too. Yep, his advantage. Wait, did we get three kills already? I don't even remember. Was that two? Two kills? Or was that already three? Okay, so Dagger takes out... No. Oh, 
Oh, that's the third kill there. Dang, Triandra with these like nearly exact lethals in every match. Every match we've seen today. Okay, so I'm glad I have Swiss Spare on her. Okay, it almost makes me feel better that my that my dagger went down to an exact kill from Trandra because it's sort of karma, I guess, for my Trandra getting that kill there. And they do win it, but um, oh wow, literally every strike here is is cleared off the map. Okay, well I'm glad that well it didn't count anyway because the lift lost, lift lost control, but um. I'm glad to see that at least the team was able to get some kills because that's all I need. If I can get two kills per match, then we'll be in good shape. So, yeah, um, unfortunate that our dagger went down to that exact lethal, but it might end up being a really tough season once we see the notes popping up, once people start sparking here uh, and running double notes for that matter. So, you know what? We'll take the win while we can. As long as we stay in tier 38, it's really all that I value at this point I'm, i don't even need to get to tier 39 i'm sure light dark season is just going to be a lot harder from this point on so well that wraps it up for today thanks for tuning in i'll be back uh maybe tomorrow we'll see probably and um yeah i hope you're all having a good season so far and not running into too much trouble from you and best of luck if you're summoning for her still all right well take care everybody and stay lucky